In this example, we will study an insulator assembly and the objective is to find out the electric field in the insulator as well as the air surrounding the insulator. Now, if you look at the model, we have two disc insulators that are made from beryllia. We also have a conductor, aluminum, which is in contact with a high voltage power source and the voltage is 80 kilovolts. And at the top, we have another aluminum that is connected to a grounded plane. The objective of this simulation in EMS for Inventor is to find out the electric field distribution in and around the insulator arrangement. To do that, we have created what is called as an electrostatic study in EMS and we have also requested the program to compute the breakdown voltage. Once the study has been created, we have defined the materials for the various components. The two discs, they are made of beryllia and then the other conductors are made from aluminum. And finally, we have an air geometry that I've hidden and I'm going to show you right now, which actually covers the entire model. So if I turn on the transparency, you can see that the entire geometry of the insulator is encapsulated inside this air geometry. Next, we will apply the boundary conditions, namely the voltages. So we are going to take the bottom conductor and that is in contact with a high voltage, 80 kilovolt line. So let us uh, apply a 80 kilovolt voltage to the bottom conductor. To the top conductor, which is grounded, we apply a zero volt ground potential. And finally, the conductor in the middle is really a floating conductor. It is not in direct contact with either the high voltage source or the grounded source. Whereas it is in contact with the two insulators. So we apply what is called as a floating conductor. For all the conductors in your assembly, that does not have a particular value of electric potential. Let me go ahead and hide the air geometry. And this actually concludes the application of boundary conditions. Now we can go ahead and take a look at the results. The first result that we are interested in looking at is the electric field, a section plot of the electric field through the insulators. As I zoom in, you can see the value of the electric field. The maximum value of the electric field is around 1.45 million volt per meter. And you can see the distribution of the electric field in the insulator. We also requested the program to compute the safety factor. And here you can see the safety factor distribution. The way to interpret this chart is that anything that is yellow and red means that it is dangerous and it is close to the breakdown voltage. As we see most of the regions or almost all the regions in the insulator are in the bottommost blue. So we can be very, very, very sure that the insulator design ensures no breakdown when it is connected to a 80 kilovolt voltage source. Now we can do some interesting things. We looked at the electric field and safety factor distribution 
in the solid parts. Now let us go ahead and make the air geometry visible and I can go to EMS and then I can plot the electric field distribution when you also have air region around it. Notice that the breakdown can occur not just in the insulator solid component but also in the air surrounding these components. So it's important to be able to visualize the electric field distribution not just in the solid components but also in the air region surrounding them. And this plot gives you a good idea of how the electric field is distributed in the air region. Now another thing we can do is we can isolate the air and look at only the air. And I go back to EMS and I double click on the electric field plot. Now this will hide all the solid components and we are able to only look at the electric field distribution in the air region. Now you can see that the maximum electric field is right in the bottom and right in these corner areas and that value is around 1.2 million volt per meter. We know that the air breaks down at 3 million volt per meter and as a result we can be sure that the breakdown of the air has not occurred for this operating voltage. You can also take a look at the safety factor. Here is a section plot of the safety factor with only the air shown. And you can see that there are no regions in yellow or red and so most of it is in the light blue area. And you can be sure that this design is safe.